Hello my friends. So this is a little weird. Um, I drove an hour and a half to this antique mall thinking it was a different antique mall. I just put the wrong place into my GPS and an hour and a half later here we are. The good news is is I've never been here before so I don't know what to expect. Uh, so let's let's see if this was a good mistake or a bad mistake. Oh and I think I'm in Canton, Georgia. Pretty sure but let's head inside. just walked in and I did get permission to film and this place looks awesome already right through the front door and look at the first thing I see this stunning amber console or er, compote with the e-pern in it and look, it's only $25 the only issue with this is the shipping um, but look at it in the size that is gorgeous so I'm definitely thinking about that um, but there's so much to see and I literally just walked in. So I will uh, look, it just looks so good. I'm excited. We are gonna head into this room first. I haven't peeked, so I'm not sure. This says look for markdowns in red. So here we're getting the first look together. It looks like a lot of silver plate in here. We got some ducks and some finer china. Some clear glass. There's a little closet full of stuff. Let's see what's in here. There's a glass flower frog for ten fifty. There's the Cubis fairy lamp, twenty four. Hmm. Nice things. Here's this box. This is cute. It is 32. But there's still like so much more to see. So we'll head this way. No idea who makes this. Um, it kind of looks like it's almost Melly Fiori, but not quite. But look at this wine glass. Or is it a champagne flute? I'm not really sure. It's $12. I think it's so unique. I might pick it up. I'm not sure yet. I might try to look it up first, um, but it's definitely an artisan piece. It's really well done. I briefly looked it up and I'm pretty sure that's all sterling and I think it's definitely worth picking up. The comps I saw were like 155 plus, so I'm definitely gonna get it. It really is beautiful. We got a big group in of salt and pepper shakers. I like these Bears. And look, the salt and pepper comes out of their eyes. Isn't that weird? They're $5 for the pair. I think I need to get these because they're just like so peculiar. Um, these are really pretty too. Are these salt and... I've not seen these in salt and pepper. I'm trying to see. They're $4 for the pair. Those are really cool. Um, I'm not sure though. Not, oh my gosh, look at these wooden cats. These are so cool. They're like really mid-century. And look at his blue nose. This one's missing her little nose. Eight dollars. I wish they were that one had its nose. Hmm. Ooh, look at this brass ram. He's beautiful. It's only $12. Oh, he's a bookend, so there would have been two of them. But isn't he cool? $12 really isn't a bad price at all. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and hold my salt and pepper shakers. Let's see if there's anything else. They have a good mixture here. I'm really happy with the different items. Oh, hi! <laughs> with the different items they have. Oh my gosh, look at these salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they funny? Six. Little monks. This is pretty too. Five dollars. 
And then here's this little shelf, and this is the last shelf. Oh, there's a Fenton Angel. Oh, and look at this toothpick holder, this carnival glass toothpick holder. He's 15. He's really cool though. And how much is the Fenton Angel? 20. That Fenton basket right there is really pretty too. I love the color. 95. None of these prices are bad. It's just, you know, I have to have a little bit more room for resale, but really those prices aren't bad at all. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am speaking it into existence that we are gonna find something absolutely amazing. And so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna film the whole thing. And well, that way, if I find something amazing, you guys will be here right when I find it. We'll find it together. So it may be a lot of just random looking, but it might be worth it when we find, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Fifth Avenue crystal. That's so pretty. Hello, giraffe. I, oh my gosh, look at these. I know that these are Egyptian because I've had them before. Set of four, you get all four for $7.99. That one's broken at the top, but. And she's missing an earring. But all four for $7.99, that's really a good deal. But with those condition issues, I'm just not sure. This brooch is nice. Look at the sparkle. $8.99. Let's go in this little room. She's cute. Hello, ma'am. $10 folk art doll. I like her. I don't know if you guys would like her. I like her. A donkey. Hello, donkey. I'm sure by now you guys have seen so many things that I've passed on and you're screaming at me. Why are you not good at that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Look at this elephant. Isn't that funny? Let's see. $14.99. And... Oh, she's pretty. Hello, madam. How much are you? Nineteen ninety-five. Is she left in? Not marked. I like these bears down here too. Four dollars. It's kind of dark back here. Dark and spooky. Oh, this is cool. Look at this piece. Art Deco. Ta -da. And then a whole bunch of dishes. We are now turning the corner. We were right over there, and now we've come over here. I see some smalls on this shelf. Mr. Saw and Mrs. Peppy. Look at this sad little turtle thing. I actually have no idea what that is. I am looking for small stuff for my scoops still. So I am constantly on the lookout for smalls. Um, let's see. Ooh, I like that. That is a beautiful paperweight. Is it signed? It's not signed, but it should be. Isn't that beautiful? I feel like that needs to be signed. 
Still looking for a... It does have one little crack on the bottom right there. It's $8.99, but that is a really well done paperweight. Isn't that beautiful? I think we're gonna get it. I can't resist it. I can't resist it. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna like this case. I see a baby. Baby, I really wanna find one of those uh, vintage fairy babies in the wild. Haven't found one of those yet. And I really want one for myself. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, but I really want one for myself. That's a pretty jewelry. I'm gonna set this paperweight right there and we're gonna look in here. Here's a small Jack in the Pulpit base. It is $10, that's not bad. It's clear glass, which there's nothing wrong with clear glass. I'm just a little unsure of it. So let's look around in here. Here's a piece of carnival, a carnival ruffle bowl. It's kind of beat up. It is $90, goodness. That bracelet is pretty. 125 it's pretty though hmm all right let's grab our paperweight and keep looking I love these look at these salt and pepper shakers I have no idea who makes these but they have these little silver plate they're glass they have these little silver plate chicken heads. They're milk glass. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. They're $18, which that's a little high for salt and pepper shakers, but I have never seen these. So I think I might look them up real quick um, and just see if I can find anything, but I love these. Okay, so as you can see, I'm shaking. I'm kind of freaking out. Um, I found these salt and pepper shakers. They are oh, Mount mount something why am i drawing blank i just literally looked them out up oh, hang I'm on back. they are mount washington glass and these salt and pepper shakers can be worth anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars to twenty five hundred dollars i'm like i i i i, I, I what are what are words and i found them with you guys so oh my gosh i have all of the goosebumps all right everybody stay calm stay calm Oh my gosh. I wasn't gonna show my face today because I look terrible, but oh my gosh, I just brought them up to the register and I am like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I got all my energy back, so I'm ready to continue treasure hunting. So let's go. To the second part of the building and this section seems to be a lot more like kitchen-y. Those are cute. Look how fake the prices. I think they were $14.99. I like this little picture up here. She's $20.95. He is kind of cool, Mr. Clown Man. Is he a whistle? Pull toy. Hmm. That bird picture up there is cute too. I don't want to reach. It makes me nervous. What are you? Your whole ear is missing her hair. Here's this picture. What are you? Oh, that's so cute. $15. I like the coloring on that one. Let's head this way. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. One, I hope it's not too expensive. Two, I hope it's not beat up. Be careful. Okay, it's $24. Oh, and it's really broken. See that big, big chip, but 
I would have got that for 24 if it were in good condition. This little area is the last area of the store. I'm really sad. I had a great time. It's not a huge store, but they do definitely have a really good mixture of things. So hopefully we'll find, I mean, if we don't find anything, I'm still so incredibly happy with those salt and pepper shakers. So if we don't find anything else, that would be okay. This booth though, I think it's giving me reproduction vibes. Like all the salt and pepper shakers are kind of reproduction-y and I don't know, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Uh, not much. Oh, here's a little fairy lamp. Red tiara fairy lamp. It's 29. Oh no, I'm not the biggest fan of this style. Stay. But it's still cute. Um, so let's go to the other side. Here is the very final section. Swear to goodness this time. I do love that vest. <gasps> Look at that vest. 1999. Would you guys make fun of me if I wore that? I need to try that on. I love okay, it. Here it is. What do we think? Do we love it? Do we hate it? I do like it. It's a little boxy and it's a little like thick and there's no pockets, but it's really cute. I don't know. I can't decide. Like open with a white shirt. You know it? Hmm. I can't decide. I wish you guys could tell me. Hmm, not sure. I think I accidentally <laughs> lied again. I swear I don't keep meaning to, but I turned the corner and I was like, well, what is this? I think that there's a basement. So I, I had no clue. So you guys come down to the creepy basement with me. I think I'm allowed down here. It doesn't say not to come down here. But there's a basement. Oh, I'm so excited. I thought adventure time was over. Okay. I'm so excited. This nudie lady. I like her though. This little composite doll. I don't know who makes her, but I like her, but I'm going to leave her for now. Lots of Avon perfume bottles over here. I can tell you that. Look at you. I'm pretty sure that's the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. He's got a fancy hairstyle going on. <laughs> Lots of toys in this booth. So let's go around the corner this way. Do you guys see it? That's all I'm gonna say. Tell me if you see it and then I'll show you what I see. Okay, it's right there. Look at him peeking out. Ugh, this is like really cram spaces. Look at it. All right, now I think that they have just taped a pixie to this green teapot. So really, I would just be paying for the pixie. So I think what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna untape him and see what kind of condition he's in. He is in really, really good condition. So now the question is, is do I wanna pay $12 for him? Because the teapot is broken and it's not really that exciting. So really I would be paying the $12 for him. So I can't, I don't know, I think that might be too much, but he's super cool. I don't know, I have to think about it. Decided to leave him, so bye Pixie. It's nice to meet you. I really like these anthropomorphic um, salt and pepper shakers, apples, but this one has this like weird mark across its face. They're only $3, but 
I really should get them, but I don't know with that line across its face. I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to be more select here. This booth has a lot of fun stuffs in it. Lots of little smalls. Some my Ambi Beach Flamingo salt and pepper shakers. Lots of Avon. Oh, isn't that interesting? Look at that vase. Oh, sorry. It looks a little modern though, but it's still fun. Those are some pretty bookends. They're probably expensive. Kind of just hiding under here. No price. Hmm. It's probably on that other one, but honestly, I don't really want to move this cutting board. So I'm not gonna risk it. Um, I actually think that we are about done here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to another place or not. I'm not from this town, so I don't really know what's out here. But if I don't see you, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you once again for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Bye guys!